Hey folks, so today I want to show you how I'm going to change the turning signal bulb on an 89 Honda CRX SI. It's pretty much the same thing as uh, changing the side marker, uh, side marker bulb. I have to pull this thing out this way. Um, but I want to show you uh, how to do that. The other thing I want to do is show you this website, which has been really helpful for me. And I'll just kind of show you a printout here. Um, it is uh, uh, superbrightleds.com. And what it has helped me do is find the actual stock number for the bulbs that I need. And, you know, that way I can get the LED version. So um, in previous videos, I mentioned the change of the side marker bulb, which is stock number 168. And I can give you a link uh, in the description on how to get some really good LED bulbs for that. The uh, turn signal bulb is a different stock number. And when I come over here and take a look at it, uh, the front turn signal light bulb is uh, number 1156. So I'm going to change that up and uh, see how it goes. So I previously made a video where I showed the changing of this side marker bulb on an 89 Honda CRX SI. I changed it to an LED bulb. And one thing that I noticed is that I, am, I took this bulb out as well, the turn signal bulb, and it seemed to be the same uh, model or type of bulb. So what I wanted to do is change out the turn signal uh, bulbs in this video and show you uh, the actual type of bulbs and see how they work. Um, another thing I want to show is sometimes people aren't sure how to actually take out this kind of side marker housing. And so we have two screws here that require a Phillips screwdriver. And I want to show you with flashlight that this thing pops out this way. And you see these little plastic tabs there. And these fit right in here. So we have one here and we have another one here. So what I end up doing, I'm just gonna put this back in like this, is finding where that is using, a, and I use a flat screwdriver to pry it open. So just show you, I'll just kind of mock it up here. Um, I put my flat screwdriver right in here and I find that, that spot, I pry it open and out it comes like this may need a little bit of leverage you just want to make sure maybe put a towel or rag here so you don't scratch your your paint um, and out it goes just like that so i've already removed this housing here and just kind of show you the bulb here's the bulb and it looks a lot like the 168 type of bulb so i'm going to replace it with uh, the LED bulbs that I have and in my previous videos I showed you that I ended up buying a, a, a 10 pack I believe yeah a 10 pack of these LEDs which have been working have been working really well um, I replaced the side marker housing I also replaced a couple of bulbs in the back and you know if you're not sure where to replace your bulbs um, and which model bulbs there is a great website that I will uh, link in the description called um, superbrightleds.com and I'm just going to replace this as I'm talking. There we go, right in here. There we go. And that's superbrightleds.com. I'm just going to stick this in here. There we go. Easy as that. That superbrightleds.com um, just gives you the type of bulbs that you'll need um, in order to replace your regular bulbs with LEDs. Um, you know, I want to keep the original housing, so that's why I'm just replacing the bulbs. Um, I, I didn't pop this in all the way because I want to check this and uh, see if that bulb actually works. So I'm going to turn the car on 
and um, turn on the, the left turn signal and see what happens here. So it looks like it's working. Um, I'm going to pop all that back in and I want to change this guy. So uh, let me turn this off and show you how to do that. So this guy requires a model 1156 bulb and I bought that also on, uh, on Amazon. So this is the pack that it came with and again I'll link to this in the description. It's a 10 pack. Um, so this is meant to replace the 1156 bulbs and these are also, um, they require a Phillips screwdriver and uh, one is actually longer than the other. I don't know if that's stock or not, but that's an interesting situation there. Um, and as you unscrew, then this housing easily pops out like so. Um, when I take this thing out, Just, there we go. There's my 1156 bulb and I believe I press it in and I push it out. The bulb still works. I just want to replace these with LEDs um, and let's just open up the packet. These bulbs were highly reviewed. It took me a while to find something that I was comfortable buying and sometimes they make you want to buy like a 20 pack I don't need 20 bulbs and that's it so just kind of pushed it in there we go let's pop it into the housing again there we go uh, looked a little too easy but there that was it so I'm going to pop it in I'm just taking a look right here and just kind of figuring out okay which screw did I need where I'm assuming the long screw was on the right and just gonna pop this in I'm not gonna screw this in just yet I want to test I want to test first a little bit of trouble there we go I think the, the cable housing is just stuck there so I'm going to test this first, uh, see how the lights work when I turn the signals on. So this is an interesting situation. When I change the LED bulbs, it flashes a lot quicker. So I wonder if I need to do some sort of relay issue, some, if there's some sort of relay issue here. I wonder if I'm going to blow a fuse here, but it looks like um, they work. So. I'm going to look into it and see what's going on here. So what I did here is I went back and replaced the 1156 bulb uh, with the original bulb and I went back and tried the turn signal and it looks like this one, this one is still the LED bulb. Uh, this one right here is still the LED bulb. It looks like it went back to flashing at its original flash rate. So something about putting an LED bulb in here that really changed that flash rate. I wasn't too crazy about how fast that was uh, uh, blinking. So I went back and replaced this guy with, with the uh, normal bulb. You can see it there, just a normal regular bulb in there um, until I figure out why it flashed so fast. But I'm going to uh, go back and, and use these 1156 bulbs for other areas, the rear. I think there's some rear turn signal uh, bulbs that need to be replaced. I'm going to do that and see if it flashes fast uh, still.
So it turns out that the fast flashing of the turn signals once I change them to LED is due to a, a, an, a thing called hyper flashing. And it's because uh, the flasher relay believes that there's a low voltage being drawn out from the incandescent bulbs um, and then starts to send out uh, a faster signal. And in reality, it's because the LED bulbs are running at a lower voltage. So there are a couple of ways that uh, this can be remedied. Uh, what people end up doing is, is uh, a couple of things. One of the things is that they, they bring in a load resistor to all the different uh, turn signals. So they install load resistors um, at each and every uh, um, wiring to the, to the LEDs. But what ends up happening is that that creates a lot of heat. Um, the other way that you can solve the issue is by replacing the flasher relay uh, inside the car. Let me show you where that is. So this is the cover, and sorry it's a little dark in here, but this is the cover to the fuse box. And um, here's the underneath of the 89 CRX SI. And right, right behind these wires, we've got the flasher relay. I actually removed it already. Um, So let's see here. Ah, actually, sorry about this, you guys. All right, there, right there, those three prongs. So that is where the flasher relay uh, goes in. I actually removed it already, and I'll show you um, what I ended up doing. So you remove that flasher relay, and you install a new relay that is specifically for LED bulbs. I'm just going to pull out nice and slow so you see placement. There you go. Great. And then that's where the the cover is in, uh, uh, goes back on. It's really easy to put it back on. Not a problem. And so I'm going to install it and we'll see what happens. So here we have the original flasher relay, the Mitsuba FR3309 uh, for the 89 Honda CRX SI. And um, as I found out, this flasher relay will cause a hyper flash um, you know, when I install LED bulbs in the CRX, uh, um, hyper flashing when I'm you know, putting on the turn signal. So after some research, I found this flasher relay and I'll put um, a link to the product I got it on Amazon a link to the product um, in the description and I read a lot of the reviews and it does do a little bit of a quirk it is a little quirky in the sense that um, at the very end of the the turn signal um, you know operation uh, the lights will turn off, but it will click still for one additional click after uh, after the turn signal bulbs turn off. So it's a little quirky, but um, this is the one that was the most highly rated, so I decided to get it. Now, I did hear that people were having issues attempting to install this in the original housing. And as you can tell, the dimensions, they're definitely very different. Um, you know, this one is much squarer, and if you look at them, it actually looks like the this new one might be a little bit wider uh, than the Mitsuba. So what I ended up doing was I ended up buying some uh, terminals and uh, male and female terminals and attached them to some wire, just like this, so that I can attach... Um, the, the flasher relay to these terminals, like so, and then uh, attach this to the corresponding uh, socket. So that would allow me to uh, make this work.
I thought, you know, after I attach it, I would just possibly, you know, wrap some electrical tape around this just to insulate it further. And, um, and I, and, you know, this would go all the way in so there wouldn't be a need to insulate anything at all. You know, you crimp these terminals. I got these at a hardware store. Um, so all in all, it was about another, you know, uh, $10 for this and, and about six, $7 for the terminals because I had to get a set of 10. Um, but at least I have them now. And I gave myself about five or so inches of wire. That way I could just kind of zip tie this to some other uh, um, kind of wires just, to, just so that it's not dangling. So um, that's what I did and, and let's see how it works. So here is the flasher relay. Okay, and connected to those terminals and right in there. Let's see if we can, there we go. You can see how it all fits snugly. Those mill terminals fit snugly into uh, the socket where the old Mitsuba flasher relay came in. And I don't wanna have it dangling like this, so I'm going to maybe zip tie it to something let's see i think i may zip tie it to this this little hose here just to keep it secure i don't want it to fall out as i'm trying to turn left or right Alrighty, so there is the finished work and it's zip tied to one of those hoses the connectors are in the socket and i'm going to fire up the car um and try the turn signals. Alrighty, so I just turned on the car and here we have it. Turning left. The LEDs are working. The rear is working very nicely. I'm going to turn on all the lights so you see everything and then I'm going to put on the right turn signal. And here we have the right turn signal. Working nicely. Let's go to the back. And looks like the rear is working nicely as well. So, looks like the flasher relay worked. Um, as I mentioned, the it does have a quirk and what you i don't know if you can hear it here but um i'm gonna turn off the turn signal and if you can tell it actually clicks the flasher relay clicks a little longer than it should after i i've turned it off So it looks like it starts off synced up, but then, you know, and like I mentioned, this was uh, mentioned in the review. So I knew about this before I uh, uh, bought the product. So I'm okay as long as it works. I'm okay with that. It'll be a quirk that I have to get used to. But I, I think this was a much better solution than putting load resistors um, under every light you know i think it's an easier quick uh, quicker fix and an easier fix and uh, i had to get a few wires and you know adapt it to my uh the the uh the old flasher relay configuration but it seemed like it worked and so there you have it all right, all right folks i hope this helped all right bye